Hey, this is Dave, Yankee Sports Cards. I am going to do a random uh, pack opening here. Got some uh, time on my hands on a Friday evening. So I took a trip to my local card shop earlier today and picked up some uh, cheap junk wax, uh, which is becoming very popular these days. Um, and they had some good deals. Um, all these packs here, got some nice supplies, some card sleeves and some graded card sleeves, uh, big monster boxes for commons and stuff, and uh, all that's been about 40 bucks, so um, glad to see them open back up. Definitely wanna support them, and the prices are good as well. And so I'm gonna open most of these, and also gonna add in a Series 2 Fat Pack and an 18 Update Fat Pack. We'll save those for last since they're so special. Um, so here's what I picked up. I picked up a 88 Top Cello. This is a 91 Stadium. And the prices are actually still on these things. A buck, a buck. Uh, these 87 Tops, these might have been $1.50. Uh, got some upper deck. Unfortunately, these are the high numbers. And these were uh, $3.95 each. And picked up a few of these. Big, I, I don't know, I guess they're cello packs, I don't know what you call these, but 90 Fleer. And actually got these for a buck too, so which is actually cheaper than the original retail price, which I thought was interesting. So I'm gonna open um, some, not all of these up today, I'm gonna save some for later. Um, and then in my um, highlight series, which I'm gonna kinda continue in all my videos, I got three mantle cards. I have here the 58. Um, this is again one of my personal cards that I had raw, sent it in not too long ago. And it's a one. That's uh, typical of most of my mantle cards. Uh, it's got wax stains and all kinds of stuff on the back, some light creasing, um, but still a pretty good looking card. Uh, second one is the 60, well, one of my favorite ever mantle cards. And you can see right there in the top middle, this used to be hanging on somebody's bulletin board or something. It has a uh, pinhole on it which is unfortunate because uh, other than that, it would probably grade a, I don't know, maybe a three or a four. It's not bad shape. I, I really don't care, um, like the card. And then finally, I guess all three that I picked out today are ones. Um, this card, this is a nice looking card. It's a 61. And again, this one I have in my personal collection too, sent off not too long ago. It has some paper loss right there and it has some wax stains on the back. Um, really thought this might be a two, but I think the paper loss, that might be a small slight spot of paper loss there above his eye too. Um, kind of did it into a one. But again, I don't really care. It's not going anywhere. Um, this is my PC stuff. Uh, man, I was my dad's guy growing up and I'm a big Yankee fan. So none of this stuff is, is leaving the collection. So I'm glad to have them just, um, safe in their cases. Okay. Let's start off. And open a pack of 90 cell, uh, 90 flare of these cellos. Looking for maybe a Sosa rookie. Griffey. Um, let's see, we get three stickers. Only gonna slow down for somebody. There's a Delano De Shields rookie, wasn't a bad card back in the day. I always laugh at these Yankees cards from this time because uh, the team is so bad. This is uh, Chris Sabo. This is what, second year, I think. Nothing much of note coming up so far. Rookie of uh, two guys that didn't ever go very far. George Bell. Uh, players of the decade, Will Clark. That's a John Wetland rookie for the Dodgers. Important piece of uh, the big Yankees run in the 90s. Let's see. And what 
that, that was a pretty dud of a pack there. Pretty much straight commons in that pack. All right. What should we go to now? Let's do this card, this pack, which is already halfway coming open. <laughs> uh, the gum looks good. I don't think I'll eat it, but... Smells good. All right, Ruben Sierra. Vince Coleman. Gary Carter for a Hall of Famer. Uh, Gary Renicky. Like I said, the Yankees were terrible around late 80s, early 90s. Turn back the clock. Yastrzemski. Willie. Mickey Tettleton, second year, I think it was. And that's about it. Not much happened in the first two packs. Let's go. Let's do this um, Stadium Club, 91 Stadium Club. Actually, I don't even know who we're looking for in this pack. I didn't do any research on it. So we'll find out if we find any of them or if we just have another pack of commons. Nothing yet. Gary Carter. Photography on these is always great. Uh, Randy Johnson, so I guess third year. What put inside? Uh, Chili Davis. Um, and another Yankee great of the early 90s, Steve Farr. Ding on the corner, too. According to this, he actually had a pretty good year. 13-7, and seven, 198 ERA. All right. Let's move on. Let's do 88 Pop Cello. Mm, Tom Glavin, rookie. Um, second year card of a few guys. Let's see. There's a Hall of Famer. Jeff Musselman. Willie. The Gum. Same run as the top half. That's ridiculous. <laughs> nice collation tops. See, so here's a reminder. We got Jones, Stone, Dunstan, Henderson, Musselman. Jones, Stone, Dunstan, Henderson, Musselman, the Red Sox card, the Willie. Yeah, that's disappointing. Okay. Not like we were going to find a whole lot in 88 tops, but when you get the same commons twice in the same pack, that's, um, yeah. All right, let's do one of these. Um, I opened um, six of these last week that I got for eBay. I spent more than $3.95 per, by the way. And uh, I didn't get one star rookie in any of those six packs. So these high number are, there's definitely a lower chance of getting the junior rookie. There's a, there was 100 high number cards in here, so it takes away from that chance. Takes away from the chance of getting any of the um, good rookies, too. Randy Johnson, Sheffield, any of those guys. Dwight Gooden. Was uh, Upper Deck the innovator of cards going every which direction? Some more stickers for my son. There's a Fernando. I know what, uh, he's doing some aerobics or something. Last few cards, Ozzy, Pat Tabler, Kent Tocovi, Rick Aguilera, and upside down, eh, my 
Mike Schmidt. Not add a Mike Schmidt, but add a no rookies. Stuck out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna open one more of these, and I'm gonna open one more of these, and the rest of these are gonna be put away for another rainy day. And we'll open the 90 first, and we'll save the three big guns for last. All right, 90 clear. We can't we can't have a worse pack than that first one. So let's see more stickers. Players of the Decade, Fernando. There's a Smoltz, second year. I thought that was a, I thought that might have been our Sosa. But instead, it's a Ron Kittle. Jack Clark, speaking of former Yankees and Yankees uh, uh, late 80s and 90s, it was three in a row, four in a row. Gary Ward, I don't, he might have played for the Yankees. Yeah, he did. 88, 89, one, two, three, four, five in a row. Kurt Stillwell, no. <laughs> Jack Armstrong. There's a Bonds. Uh, not great centering on that thing, fortunately. Seen some people sending in these, um, you know, like a 90 Fleer of Bonds, perfectly centered in the 10, going for 40 or 50 bucks. That one's not gonna be the case though. Hojo. Joe Carter. David Wells. Baines. Just have such a hard time sitting him aside, but there he goes. Um, Sam Berg and Hojo. There's a Larry Walker rookie. And that's our best card so far. That one's uh, pretty well centered. Uh, looks like top to bottom's off, huh? Top to bottom's off. Left to right was pretty good on that thing. And Jerome Walton. And that's it. Okay. Pack was a little better. And one more pack of 89 Upper Deck High Series. Hall of Famer. Pascal Perez, another former Yankee. He was a character. Uh, Okendo. Todd Zill. This card had some value back in the day. This Zill right here. When this high number series came out, that was probably a, I don't know, $5 card. Not anymore. See, we still haven't had a star rookie out of any of these packs. Paul Malter, last few cards, Chris Spire, Jeff Kunkel, and another, and this one's Tony Gwynn. So, yeah, those uh, 89 upper deck kind of hold true to that pattern. There's not, there's not um, a lot of rookie power in them. Okay. Let's try out the Series 2. This is a Walmart clearance um, from months ago. Um, just about anything card-wise is dried up at Walmart, most especially some kind of fun like this. I was in today getting some groceries. This one has a hit in it. Um, and uh, there was two guys, uh, two guys kind of weaseling around the cards. But there was nothing there anyway. Anyway, let's see. Mitch Hanniger. Soler. Alex Gordon. Jace Peterson. He wasn't a Yankee very long. Let's see if we can do this hit towards the... Let's go like that. Because if there's a... Short print, if there was a bat down or something else, it would be back in that area. So, Pineda, DeGrom. I just don't remember that card. Uh, 
Verlander. I'll set him aside. Future Hall of Famer for sure. Scherzer, also future Hall of Famer, in my opinion. Judge, if he could stay healthy. There's a Severino, uh, 83 top style stamp, 35th. And not numbered. Tim Raines. Addison Russell, Legends in the Making. And we got a catcher. We got a Wilson Contreras um, relic. Okay, cool. Not the worst name. Not a judge. And <laughs> I think that's where the, our hit would have been, right there where the old Casimir is. And it was a, that was a definite troll um, on the Brave card. Chad Green and CJ Crone for the last card. And uh, that's my cat, Judge. All right, last pack. 18 update. Soto Acuna. Lots of other stuff. These things are... Uh, last time I priced them on eBay, these fat packs are $30 or $40 a, a pack now. So, Bregman, Altuve, yeah, speaking of trash cans, we're looking for a Ichiro. I believe Ichiro is the uh, tell that there's going to be a, look what I just called for. Look what I just called for. There's a Soto. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, glad I chose to open this pack. And um, if you can see it in the light, I got a little glare here. Every one of these cards has a ding on this uh, bottom left corner, including the Soto. It's tiny, but it's there. I'm going to have to go ahead and put this guy on the sleeve, though. Wait on him. Okay. Pretty annoying when people uh, do this and sleeve up 20 cards in their videos, but I can do one Soto. I was not expecting that. I'll take that. All right, let's move on. Mookie. Yeah. My stack's about to fall down here. All right. Let's see if we can pull something else out. Trevor Story. Never seen this Babe Ruth card. It's actually a pretty cool card. There's a Eugenio Suarez uh, foil. Not bad. Chipper. And Jeter. Tomei Hall of Fame. Uh, Shohei Legends in the making. Rookie. These rookies, uh, legends and makings don't go for near as much, of course. Uh, let's see. We could get a sideways of Glaber or Soto or Acuna. But we're running out of cards here. Running out of cards. Verlander. Ziegler. I've never noticed that card, but that's a cool card making a catch there. And that full. All right. Can't complain too much about that 18 update. Score to Soto. The slight ding in the bottom left corner. Uh, quick highlights of my the packs open here. Got a Shohei rookie. Um, some of these inserts. This is a foil. Suarez. The e drill, which will... Always precede that uh, Soda rookie. Did get one hit, the relic of uh, Contreras. This was from the uh, 18 Series 2. Severino, 83. Um, the upper deck packs, the best cards we could get is a couple of these 
painted cards. Gwen, Mulder. Uh, rookie of Larry Walker, one of the better cards of the uh, break. A Bonds. The kits, the highlights from my first 89 upper deck pack. And a couple of Hall of Famers to finish it off there. So, fun times. That's, um, I enjoy doing that. Open up some of these older cards and uh, something to do on a stay-at-home Friday evening. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for checking out my video.